Hi, I'm Dr. Bomber. Thank you for joining me today. I'm going to be going over my nightly moisturizing routine. This is really important to add deep hydration to your skin. This is something that is followed after you've opened your skin up, you've applied glycolic, you've applied uh, vitamin C perhaps, but most importantly you've definitely applied your retinol. And all of these things will tend to exfoliate you and disrupt the epidermis a little bit so that it is wanting more moisture and ready to pull that deep into the skin. The old moisturizers used to be oil-based and would just basically restore your barrier function. Our skin is a barrier to the outside environment and it can tend to lose water if it's somewhat impaired. So moisturizers would just be, again, more oil. These days our moisturizers are much more loaded with things that help boost the hydration in the skin, like hyaluronic acid and other factors, antioxidants that are sinking deeply into the skin and boosting the moisture content, as well as serving as a barrier function with some kind of emollient over the surface. We don't tend to use mineral oils as what was in creams previously. It's more focused on more beautiful ingredients like shea butter and other emollients that are really healthy for the skin. And so eye creams and face creams is what we're talking about. And so the products that are best suited for this are ones that um, don't have acids in them, don't have retinol in them. We've already done that. It's already soaked deeply into the skin. And we're able to put this on liberally without having any problems with it getting into our eyes or irritating. And so the eye creams are, that are best suited for this type of technique are the growth factor eye creams. The Lumiere eye creams actually have a little bit of caffeine in them as well. And the caffeine is good for reducing puffiness for those, who, those of us who have had genetics that bring puffy eye skin. I personally didn't have that genetic, so I don't have puffy eye skin, so it's really not good for me to use these because I need all the puff I can get. I tend to be more of a hollow type. And so I utilize the TNS eye cream, which is also a growth factor eye cream, which I absolutely love, that does not have any caffeine in it. In the face moisturizers, we've divided this up into oily skin, more youthful skin, to less, um, you know, more dry skin here and more mature skin on this side. The Age Intervention Peptide Extreme is loaded with peptides and it has a little bit of the emollients with shea butter. And this is going to be great for somebody who has oily skin, but you can still feel really confident about moisturizing and it's even great for those who have acne. The Transformation Face Cream is going to be a little bit creamier, but not thick and, you know, it doesn't have that thick feel. It really sort of disappears into your skin pretty quickly, but it is still kind of fluffy and creamy. And this is also loaded with, with uh, peptides and growth factors that help boost the um, collagen in your skin and is also good if you have acne. For those of us that have more mature skin, you know, 50 and up, and also those of us that have dry skin, the Age Intervention Face Cream from Jam Rainy is going to be the one that you're going to want to choose. And for the people that have skin that is um, more, has more of a tendency to break down, has little irritations, has maybe some open sores, this is going to be good for any skin type, whether you have acne or not, it's not going to produce acne. It is a little bit heavier, but again, it's not going to pr promote acne. And it's really great for those people that have a tendency to have open sores and it's going to be really helpful for repairing those because it's loaded with the growth factors. So all of these moisturizers are really appropriate for putting on heavily in the evening after you've stimulated your skin with a retinol aggressively because you're pushing it every night. And next video I'm going to show you how to do this in the application method because you might not understand exactly what I'm talking about. So stay tuned and I'll show you my next video.